of GalaxyCon Columbus and we've all set up and everything. We set up yesterday, um, Thursday. So, and it was a three and a half hour drive and it kind of took us through the boonies and everything. So hopefully it's a good time. <laughs> a little bit about how much this table costs. Um, so we're looking at around $390. I booked last year in December, or yeah, I think it was December, and it was $390. And then um, the Airbnb we're staying at, we're splitting it with four other people, and that's going to be an estimated $175. And then with food, it's probably going to end up being around <laughs> it's probably gonna end up being around $50 or so and then gas being probably $50 as well because it takes us three and a half hours to get here and I will say it does take us throughout the boonies um, but that's probably what you're gonna be looking at for an artist alley table it's gonna be six foot but I will say you do get a little bit of room behind decided to say hello now but yeah so there is room behind and it's interesting how they have us set up because there's three tables in a row and that's it so there's only one person in the middle and it's easy to get out um, Grand Rapids we had an issue of not being able to get out but um, it just started now it's 210 um, it just started 10 minutes ago and it today lasts till 8 o'clock um, so hopefully we'll have a good day and we'll keep checking in. day two um, it's the hours are 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, there was a big line outside so hopefully that means some sales I think I did about 34 sales yesterday um, it's not great for a Friday for me um, but I heard a lot of people were getting like nine sales one sale so hopefully today will be a better day um, when I compared the numbers to last year Friday I'm doing better, but that's because I have bigger um, ticket items, um, so uh, hopefully it's going to be better. Look at this! This is so cute! She came over and she said she watched my videos. Uh, I done near almost cried about it, but um, she makes the little plushies herself. And, um, <laughs> and then there's a pin in there as well. It's so cute! Thank you!
one o'clock now. We have until 8 p.m. tonight, and that's when it closes. Um, the crowds are insane. I mean, they're still letting people in for the badges and registering for the badges and everything. And yet, not everybody is in the exhibitor room yet. Um, I don't know what's going on, but I will say everybody is in the celebrity wall corner or whatever. No one is moving past that. People say been theft last night so that doesn't go well there is an issue with the gaming center is right in front of us and that still goes on after eight o'clock and so does the next room and yet to get to any of those you have to go through like the artist alley so you're passing by these really expensive cars and these the artist tables and anyone can walk up and take something that's not great. Uh, the people aren't moving past the celebrity section and it is packed. It's like body to body. It's, I don't recommend this if you're out of state. I really don't think it's worth it. I, I'm from Detroit and so it took us three and a half hours. We're at an Airbnb and I have to pay for food and gas. It just doesn't, it's not profitable. I mean, I am talking to people and they're, they made one sale yesterday on a Friday. And today they're making nine sales or a one sale every like three hours. And that's just not, that's not good. Um, a lot of people are staying in the exhibitor area with all the drop ship stuff. And like I said, they're just not moving. I don't know if it's specifically my location where I'm right across from a giant APA gaming room piercings and tattoos and then exhibitors to my left so I don't know I just don't think I'll be back
system actually just limited my account and I am no longer able to take payments. So I can't take card payments. Um, I can only take Venmo and cash because PayPal's not loading because of the service in here. Um, I'm sorry if I always complain on the vlog. I'm trying not to. Do you take card? So it's day three of GalaxyCon. Um, we got in like 30 minutes before start, which is 10 a.m. Uh, today goes till 6 p.m. Uh, Steven actually got his ears pierced on, I forgot to say it, on Friday evening? Yeah. And he, yeah, it, very spur of the moment. He's like, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, and then I actually, today on Sunday, I met Mara Wilson, which is the actress who played in Mrs. Doubtfire and Matilda. And I gave her a lucky plush. Um, and she took a picture with it and she seemed so happy. Also, she's really pretty. Just saying. So it was really cool to see a childhood actress that I really, really loved. Um, but she was really sweet. I, and I got to meet Goofy. Goofy was like doing his voice lines and it was the cutest shit in the world. He was just talking. He, he just kept talking about, you know, how he's not actually a Disney employee and how he's contracted and complaining about how many W-2s he ends up getting. So hopefully day three is good and yeah, I'm really tempted to get a piercing because I don't have enough already. Also, thank you to everybody I met to here who came up to me and said that they watched my videos. It's weird. It's really weird because like, I don't even like looking at myself. <laughs> But yeah, oh, I met another artist. I, I don't know her name right now. She gave me this pin, and Steven got a pin. It's so cute. She's so sweet. So sweet. So there's a lot of great artists here, a lot of great and nice people. Um, just more of a looking crowd than a buying crowd, and very cash heavy, which is great for us yeah. who can't take card transactions yesterday. But no, it's been good. Um, I profited now. And I think a lot of my other friends are now too, which is great. Um, so it is almost time to pack up. I think it's like 5... 518. 518 and um, it sounds like a lot of exhibitors have already packed up and left and that's like a terrible sign. Um, I will say I've made what I would in a single day at Grand Rapids Comic Con. So that's not good. A lot of artists are disappointed. Um, I think the layout was just terrible. So I would not recommend this convention, especially the, for the cost. And then if you're out of state, you have to spend money for your lodging. But it was not good. I mean, it, there was like a sale every like 30 minutes to an hour. And then it was like one person after another during that part that someone else is buying something. But like, it was just nothing but people walking around. I think a lot of the attendees came for the celebrities and that's literally it. They didn't make it past the celebrity signing. They were staying over there and they never moved on. So I think that's it until we pack up. People are already packing up, never mind. We are on the way back from GalaxyCon. We have three hours, 15 minutes left. Um, Overall, uh, we're gonna go around and just kind of get everybody's thoughts, opinions, feelings on the show. 
Um, personally, it was okay. Um, if you ask me, I think uh, Friday was really rough sales-wise. Uh, yesterday was kind of touch and go. Uh, we would get like spurts of really good business and then it would really slow down. And then today it was just kind of slow overall. Um, but we met a lot of nice artists, a lot of nice people. Um, but kind of so-so, at least on my end. Jillian, how are you feeling? Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. Hi. Um, I had lots of fun. It was really, I guess, the first con weekend that I've helped you guys with. So that, that was pretty cool. The con itself was definitely interesting. I don't, I can say like I've never been to one like it. I don't know if that's good or bad though. <laughs> but it was fun. We had a good weekend. Justine, your thoughts? Don't go if you don't live nearby. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like no. you're, you'd be wasting your money. I think I already said that though. I think I really think you would be wasting your money getting the table. And the artist alley table was almost four hundred dollars. And that's not worth it. They really don't prioritize the artist alley. I mean, not a lot of cons do. And everybody wasn't. Or like whenever people would enter the hall, they'd be dropped off right in front of the autographs and the celebrities and they just wouldn't move past that. Or they'd go into the exhibitor hall where all the drop ship shippers are. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, but yeah, so it was just kind of, if you're an artist and you're looking for a convention in Ohio, sure, give it a shot. But all my Michigan homies, no. Don't do it. This is my second time going and I really thought maybe the the second time would be better, but it's just, it wasn't good. So, but regardless, I saw a lot of my Ohio buddies and met a lot of cool artists. So that was great. That's probably the end of the vlog. We're gonna go home and we're gonna all sleep. Yep. So thank you for joining us. See ya. Bye.